Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Jeff McManus. I work for Chesapeake Climate Action Network. Uh, we're a nonprofit environmental organization uh, located in Tacoma Park, Maryland. Uh, I'm not Mike Tidwell, yes. but I will try my best to envision what he would say uh, if he were in my shoes. So, um, our dependence on foreign energy sources are costing us too much. A number of wars have started or have been justified for control as well as security of foreign energy sources, such as oil. Now, we need to start moving away from these sorts of sources. I mean, all it can take is one war, or as we've seen uh, in the last week of February, one civil war to cause uh, gas prices to go you know, up the roof. Um, and according uh, to the Department of Energy, uh, well, recent events in the Middle East highlight the volatility of fossil fuels. Um, and the price, and, and domestically, the price of coal has doubled over the past decade. Oil, on the other hand, has more than tripled during the last decade. I mean, we need to start moving towards clean, abundant, local energy sources here in the United States and not depend on these foreign sources that are incredibly volatile in price and are very subject to you know, these, these, these such events. Um, that's why in, in Maryland, Governor Marta Malley has introduced uh, the Offshore Wind Energy Act of 2011. This would create a 500 megawatt offshore wind farm 10 to 12 miles off the coast of Maryland. Um, this would create thousands of jobs. Um, the, a recent study found, uh, released last week, says that Maryland has more than 150 businesses that uh, employ more than 7,000 workers that can participate in this industry. It's already growing across uh, the East Coast. <laughs> Delaware, Massachusetts have already uh, 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 had their own legislation for offshore wind farms. Maryland needs to join in this so we can get these jobs in our state. We can become a manufacturing hub across the East Coast and have a, a reliant uh, a reliable energy source that isn't going to fluctuate because the price of wind that fuels the turbines is free. It's wind. So you can guarantee that that price is not going to change in the long term. So it's going to create jobs. It's going to create stable electricity rates and a stable supply of electricity. Um, and they're finding that it's, it's not going to cost us much. Recently there was a, a, a rate cap amendment uh, saying that if any proposal comes forth that, cause, uh, that will cost the average Marylander more than $2 extra a month, thrown out. So this is not going to cost us very much, and it will, whatever it will cost us is going to stay stable for the entire 25-year contract that these wind farms are going to spend. Um, and with that $2, or it's estimated to be $1.44, we're going to have local jobs, a healthier environment, a great reduction in, in, in uh, emissions that are a result of burning fossil fuels. Um, and there, I mean, there's just a number of benefits. And so we need to start moving away from these foreign energy sources um, that are uh, just bankrupting us. Uh, and we need to move forward on clean energy alternatives here, locally in the United States. Thanks.